then we've got Netflix, which was pretty spectacular. They gapped up, pulled back to the 20 exponential moving average, and turned around and rallied. And I would imagine that you guys are probably doing something with this in the lab today. Because it could be a great stock when it's moving. And I love that it rallied right up through the 10 exponential moving average. And this is one that it was still it was still in that uptrending pattern. See how the 10, the 10 had angled down, but just that one day. So it wasn't like it, the 10 moving average had gone flat for a long time. Still overall in that uptrend, but just one day downward angle because of the pullback yesterday. And today, that reversal where it bounced off that 20 exponential moving average and pushed higher and made it up to the 200 symbol, all that is a really, really strong bullish signal. So one thing to think about, if you're doing swing trading, when you're holding calls overnight, you'll see where it stopped, right? It's right above that 200 simple moving average. So you might think about using that as a, a stop for a swing trade. And another reason to do that is their earnings aren't too far away either. They're also on the 18th. So we do have enough time for an additional trade, though. So if they can move higher, and anywhere, as long as they're above the 200 simple moving average, We've got a place to buy calls on Netflix even here tomorrow or the next couple of days. Let's see. Yeah, absolutely. Brand wants to look at the intraday chart. He said their your entry in the lab was awesome. Um, oh, I love that. Bill said we've got to do a value menu swing trade. 20 contracts up. I love that. 4500 bucks so far. Just today on that kind of a breakout move. See, this is, this is why it's so important to just wait for these real powerful chart patterns to appear and try to trade those and those bigger momentum stocks when they have the right pattern. Because then you can make money like that without a huge investment. Uh, Julie said, I looked at this as a failure to move above the 200 for several days. What am I missing? No, you were right. For several days it was that failure. Well, but you're saying so you would wait for it to trade above the 200? Here, here's what I would look at. I, to me, you've got a stock like this that is choppy, because you're right, it failed to move above the 200, you're absolutely right. It was also not doing a good job of closing below the 10 until yesterday. So it was basically stuck. Choppy stock while the S&P is choppy. Pretty typical, right? So what, what would make this a viable candidate to trade before it broke above the 200 is just merely the fact that it's stuck in a choppy channel and you're basically trading, your initial thought is trading from here to here. So if it moves above the 10, you've got a place to trade it from the 10 up to the resistance, which is clearly holding, or had been, which is the 200 simple moving average. So you see the difference there? It could be a short-term day or swing trade just because you pull back to a level of support. And yeah, it's super choppy. There's no real clear direction, but you have an opportunity to trade it just because it is a little bit oversold, and you wouldn't have known that until today when you see that bounce off of the uh, 20 exponential moving average, and you see it move above the 10, and then you see it turn bullish and golfing, right? Yeah. So you're right when you see that. It sets up your trading time frame, right? And now today, by the close, it looks a lot better, and we do have the close above the 200. But there were reasons to get into a trade earlier when it was trading off of that 20 exponential. But let's look at this. Okay, so this morning, this morning, it was looking like a lot of chop, stock was still below the 10, and but above the 20. And it really was pretty iffy for a while. I don't, I'll show you where I like the chart pattern, and you guys can show me. Where you were trading it, but you'll notice this. So it trades down. It keeps balancing around that 20 moving average, right? So it's trading down to that level, but just choppy and uncertain until that candle. That is where that chart, I think, should catch your attention. 
Now, all of a sudden, we have a breakout and on big volume. Before that, I think it was pretty uncertain because the stock was basically still stuck between the 10 and between the 20. This breakout, I think, is tradable. And if you want to wait for that candle to close, then you get in on the next candle if it goes higher. And it gets you in around that 103.50 area. Oh, so that's right where you guys got in, basically right here on the next candle. I love that. Really nice. Wow. Good job. That's awesome. So, yeah, and if you missed that first entry, well, then over here you have another bullish engulfing with another entry. And it's up maybe another 50 cents from that first entry, but still tradable. So by that point, by the way, see on that big bullish candle with big volume, everything just there on that candle was a breakout above the resistance from the morning. So it basically broke out of all the consolidation of, and you'll notice for you know, that chunk of time, Netflix stayed within the trading range of the first 15 minutes, all the way until 10.40 Eastern time, so just over an hour. So it just was stuck. Now all of a sudden it starts to trend, but on this breakout candle, it not only broke out of the early, the, the morning high from the first five minute candle, but it also, that was the area that it was trading above the 10 exponential moving average. So at that point, then, when you're looking at the daily chart as that's developing, you're seeing on the daily chart, the bounce off of the, the 20, and you're seeing that it's up above the 10 moving average. And remember, the candle body from yesterday is just above 104. So it ends up turning bullish engulfing right over here on this next really big green candle at the uh, 11.05 Eastern time, that time frame right there. And then you get these, you know, nice, oops, then you get these nice the rally, and then you get these nice pullbacks, retracement to the 10 and a bounce. All right, so there we go. So that's your, that's your uptrending pattern that started today. And again, everything about it would have been that it was a breakout of that first consolidation area and a bounce off that 20 exponential moving average, followed with the rally above the 10. I think it's a rally above the 10 that gave us really nice bullish entry signals. So congrats to you guys this morning. I love that. So now if it continues to go, you can stay with your bullish positions and even add to your position. And a lot of this will come down to the S&P. What if the S&P ends up tanking tomorrow? Well, maybe. Netflix will pull back. But, you know, people think that this company will have good earnings. It may fight what happens in the market. You may see this go even higher. 